What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tristan the Kid back again with another mega for you guys today. And today, I just want to talk about a few things that I think about randomly by myself. And uh, I want to share them with y'all, see if y'all think the same things. So, uh, as you can tell, I'm running out of ideas for YouTube. So, but we don't keep it going. So let's get it. So my first thought. This goes out to you, Papas. Every other chicken place I've ever been to, whether it be Cane's, whether it be Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC, churches, anywhere else, they never run out of chicken. Why are you the only ones that I have that problem with? You serve chicken and biscuits and fries. I'm pretty sure nobody's crazy about the biscuits because you eat one without a drink, you're certified dead because you can't eat it because it's dry as sandpaper buddy and then the second and then you know what i can understand you run out of biscuits you run out of fries that's not your main thing your main thing is chicken how do you ride a chicken how do you do it how are you late on the one thing you need to serve i don't understand it popeyes listen come here come, 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 come here come here come here popeyes. this is for you i'm talking to you the next time i go to popeyes and i don't have if y'all don't have no chicken i'm alua hot buying everybody in that in that area, you hear you. I'm blowing everybody up. Everybody's gonna die in that area if I go to another Popeyes and there's not chicken. I'm gonna alu akba everybody. So I hope you're ready. You better have my chicken, and it better be hot. It better not be cold. It better not have been sitting there for hours. It better be fresh out the oven, ready to be eaten. I know this is a Popeyes. If you don't have my chicken, we gonna have issues. All right, all right. Another thing that I really think about is uh, I really hope this whole don't take your girl to Cheesecake Factory thing is a joke because if it's not, then uh, I'm sorry, females, but your only other option is McDonald's. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's no other place I'm going to take you because if you feel like you're too good for a Cheesecake Factory date, then you're too good for anything. Because let me tell you, if my girl ever took me to Cheesecake Factory, I'll be the most satisfied man on earth. Never been to Cheesecake Factory, but I know it's good because everybody talks about it. Females, in this generation, I understand you want a man that makes a thousand dollars a week. Even though I don't know a lot of people that do that, but I understand. But if you say, if I get a girl and I ask her to go to Cheesecake Factory, she said it's not good enough for me. You can find. Listen, this is this is my my, my respectful, responsible adult answer. Find somebody that'll take you because the closest thing you'll get out of me after that is a ride home back to your back to your house because we're done. You, we're done. We're done. There's no chance in the world I'm staying with somebody that's gonna be like, who just get fed three to it's too it's too it's too regular. How dare you, man? Where did you take me? You took me to McDonald's. It got me a it got me a half a quarter pounder. You ate the other half of the quarter pounder. So what are you talking about? Don't get me mad. Don't don't anger me. How dare you, male? Another thing I don't quite get is who paid the um who paid the the teachers in elementary school to lie about high school? Who paid them? Because in elementary school they were like, oh, high school is not gonna be the same as elementary school. The work not gonna be the same. You can be able to cheat like you do. I know people that literally cheated their way through high school. <sighs> Sorry. But I know people that literally cheated their way through high school. So what are we talking about here? We got doctors in the future going to be using chat DBT to figure out how to give you heart surgery. We got people in the future. We got lawyers going to look up how to win a case in 2025. Our generation of upcoming professionals is so cooked. Because everybody used chat DBT. Oh, college ain't gonna be no different. You gonna have to do now. All due respect, college is a bit different, but it's not that different. You have to study more, but if you know how to cheat, you can cheat your way through college too. How do I know? Because I know people that do it. I'm not a snitch. I don't know their names. Don't ask me. What college am I talking about? I don't know. Hmm. Not like they care. I mean, the teachers only here for their paycheck. Well, some are. But yeah, who paid the teachers to lie about that type of stuff? Oh, it's going to be completely different. It's nothing completely different except for the fact you're on your own. And the fact that you can just do have even more opportunities to cheat because you're by yourself. The teacher doesn't care. So honestly, it's easier to cheat. But if you're like me and you like to get the work done by yourself, then it is a quite a bit of a leap. 
simple. It's not that much of a leap that you can't do it. It's still simple. One more thing I think about parents. This goes out to you. When we're having an argument, I understand you're the adult. But listen, we're growing, right? We're not going to just say yes to something that we don't like. Why is it when I make a good point of argument, it becomes is disrespectful because I'm a minor? Not all parents do this. I'm not saying mine does. I'm just saying in general, I've seen a lot of ways how this goes because I feel adults like to abuse their power. Ma'am, in, t- in another year, I will be a full grown adult too. So, uh, what are we talking about right now? This is no longer a minor situation. This is just you abusing your power. Like I said, full grown adult now. So, what are we talking about here? The, oh, you're so disrespectful. You're so disobedient. How? You said the remote was on the right side. I said it's on the left side. I'm looking at it on the left side, and you're saying no, it's not on the left side. I don't think that's a. Uh, I don't think that's disobedience or disrespect. I think that's just an astute observation. Astute, astute. I don't care what you say. Okay, I think this video is done. I can't think of anything else to say. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching this video, man. Hope, hopefully, you like, comment, and subscribe. I gotta get this video out because I promised out two videos this week. I was gonna do a story time. Which I'm still gonna do, so maybe you get three. I don't know. Maybe you get three. Maybe. But this video popped into my head a few minutes ago, and I just wanted to get it done because it seemed like it'd be funny. Now that I'm doing it, I don't know how it's gonna look. But <laughs> thank y'all for watching, at least watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, like I said already. Have a great day or night, whatever time you decide to watch this. Stay prayed up. Love everybody. Peace.